Okay, you may ask your Wizard of Oz your question. Adam, why do some crystals have rainbows in them? So, it's essentially cracks in the crystals. And what you're looking at right now is what's called fire and ice quartz or crackle quartz, where it's uh, had humans basically heat shock it and create these cracks, uh, which are creating all the rainbows you see. Um, but let's get even more scientific than that. You have something called uh, light film interference, or sorry, thin film interference. And what's happening is the same thing as when you see a bubble, like a soap bubble that has a, a rainbow on it. You have two surfaces that the light is passing through. So think of the classic Pink Floyd album where you have the prism that, that uh, changes white light into all its different colors. What's happening is you have the light enter, whether it's a, a thin bubble surface or a, a crack in that crystal, and it's splitting the light apart into its colors. And then as it goes into the next crack, it's refining it back. So we see that uh, rainbow occurring within the gap. And that gap also has things that are gonna cause dispersion such as uh, um, gas, it could be water in there, it could be, um, I think those are actually kind of the only two. But ultimately, um, it's that thin film interference that's breaking your light apart. And so one of the cool phenomenons is Sometimes you're going to have some colors more pronounced and others that dissipate more and that's why every rainbow is different.